Welcome back, my friends. Chapter 43 today. But now, thus says the Lord, your creator, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. A wonderful truth of God's word for the Jewish people right here. God's redemption of his people from exile is not to be complete until his servant returns to reign over the faithful remnant in the land of Israel who have believed on Jesus Christ. The limited return from Babylon here points to the final return into God's eternal kingdom. Verse 2, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they will not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be scorched, nor will the flame burn you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I have given Egypt as your ransom, Cush and Seba in your place. Since you are precious in my sight, since you are honored and I love you, I will give other men in your place and other peoples in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east and gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not hold them back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name and whom I have created for my glory whom I have formed, even whom I have made. More of God's sovereignty, very clearly expressed. Verse 8. Bring out the people who are blind, even though they have eyes, and the deaf, even though they have ears. All the nations have gathered together so that the peoples may be assembled. Who among them can declare this and proclaim to us the former things? Let them present their witnesses that they may be justified, or let them hear and say it is true. You are my witnesses, declares the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, so that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, and there will be none after me. I, even I, am the Lord, and there is no Savior besides me. It is I who have declared and saved and proclaimed, and there was no strange God among you. So you are my witnesses, declares the Lord, and I am God, even from eternity I am he. And there is none who can deliver out of my hand. I act, and who can reverse it? Thus says the Lord your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. For your sake I have sent to Babylon, and will bring them all down as fugitives, even the Chaldeans, into the ships in which they rejoice. The Chaldeans were sent to conquer Babylon. Verse 15. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord who makes a way through the sea and a path through the mighty waters, who brings forth the chariot and the horse, the army and the mighty man. They will lie down together and not rise again. They have been quenched and extinguished like a wick. Do not call to mind the former things or ponder things of the past. Behold, I will do something new. Now it will spring forth. Will you not be aware of it? I will even make a roadway in the wilderness, rivers in the desert. The beasts of the field will glorify me, the jackals and the ostriches, because I have given waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my chosen people. The people whom I form for myself will declare my praise. Yet you have not called on me, O Jacob, but you have become weary of me, O Israel. You have not brought to me the sheep of your burnt offerings, nor have you honored me with your sacrifices. I have not burdened you with offerings, nor wearied you with incense. You have bought me not sweet cane with money, nor have you filled me with the fat of your sacrifices. Rather, you have burdened me with your sins. You have wearied me with your iniquities. I, even I, am the one who wipes out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins. Put me in remembrance. Let us argue our case together. State your cause that you may be proved right. Your first forefather sinned, Abraham. And your spokesmen have transgressed against me. So I will pollute the princes of the sanctuary, and I will consign Jacob to the ban and Israel to revilement. Although Israel will eventually be forgiven in future days, her punishment at this time in history was necessary. Okay, well today's hymn to reflect upon in prayer is O Master, Let Me Walk With Thee by Washington Gladden and music by Percy Smith. O Master, let me walk with thee in lowly paths of service free. Tell me thy secret. Help me bear the strain of toil, the fret of care. 
Help me the slow of heart to move by some clear winning word of love. Teach me the wayward feet to stay and guide them in the homeward way. Teach me thy patience still with thee in closer, dearer company and work that keeps faith sweet and strong and trust that triumphs over wrong and hope that sends a shining ray for down the future's broadening way in peace that only thou canst give with thee, O Master, let me live. Lord, today I'm reminded of your mercy and I want to thank you for that. I remember the condition I was in when you called me and I definitely don't deserve what you've done in my life and having this wonderful relationship with you today. I just want you to know how grateful I am for your love and grace and that your word has brought to light what I really deserve. My heart is truly appreciative and I feel compelled today to share that with you again. Along with your mercy, I also want to thank you for all of our blessings, beginning with the salvation given to us and your holy word that you've provided to guide and instruct us. These words we're reading every day are life. They're living and active, and it has already done so much in each of our lives. If we look back and think about our thoughts and actions initiated by knowing what your word has to say, we will see a woven trail of victories, some small, some great, but all caused by your instruction and, of course, the prompting of your Holy Spirit. That is real and powerful, and I hope we all realize what you've done in each of our lives. Please be strongly present with each of us today, Lord. Forgive our sins, deliver us from evil and temptation, and provide us the self-control that we will need to conduct our lives in a way that is pleasing to you. Prompt us on when to speak and when to stay silent when to love, and when to walk away. Fill us with discernment as well as compassion, and bless those close to us that we love dearly as well. In your glorious name, we honor and praise you, Lord Jesus. Amen. That is a wrap, you guys. Appreciate you being here with me today, and uh, let's stay in it, you know, all the way through. God bless your day. Have a wonderful one, and take care.